Hello there. Right, as you can see, I've uh, got a bit further on with my peacock now. Last time I left you in part two, um, I'd paper mache it, it had gone hard. Um, since then, I well, I painted it all white to start off with. Um, and then I painted the body um, with it's just acrylic paint. So I've done sort of like a turquoisey sort of blue, blue there. And then obviously the sort of the bright blue here. And I've done his uh, beak and his eye. Um, I've just got to work out how to put the, um, the sort of the plumage on the top. And then I've also um, put some more peacock feathers on. So I've actually got, I've got my sparkly peacock feathers that I've already sort of put on. And then I've sort of glued in the real peacock feathers. I sort of cut them down so they're all different sizes. And then I've got like these sort of more fluffier ones here. You can see they've just got like blue tips to them. So uh, yeah, there I've just glued it. I put those underneath in between the sort of paper mache and the um, the chicken wire sort of thing. The underneath, you can remember I did like that extra flap bit. Also, I've sort of glued them up under there. Excuse me, as you can see, I've been painting. Um, so yeah, so I've glued them at different uh, different lengths, and then that's sort of just to disguise all the the bits at the top. And then what I'm actually going to do later is. Um, I've um, got some um, tissue paper that I'm going to sort of cut into sort of feathery sort of shapes. I'll show you that when I get to it and then glue it on. So hopefully that will give it a bit more texture. And then I'm going to see if them, as I was telling you beforehand, those um, sparkly leaves, how I'm going to sort of attach those and glue them on if they're any um, any good. So, uh, yeah, so no, it's coming along. He's got his two legs. There we go, that's how I've got on so far. So uh, I'll come back to you, I think, when I've um, got the, the top plumage on and I've uh, started to stick the um, the uh, the paper on, the tissue paper. I've sort of gone for like a bl blue on this, which I'm going to do, the blue like I've painted it. So the blue tissue paper will go on the neck and down the, the front of the body and then I've got like well I've got two shades of green I've got that um I'm gonna put on here which is like a, just a, a sort of like green sort of color and the other one I think was bottle green so it's slightly darker and I've gone for a royal blue um paper for the neck so yeah so there we go on the so that's it so far so I'll come back to you when I've started putting the uh, tissue paper on. Okay, so I'll see you later. Right, so this is me, uh, me masterpiece, <laughs> my um, peacock that I've made. So I'm yeah, pleased with how that's come out. So uh, once I'd sort of um, paper mashed it, I painted it all white. Um, and then I painted it um, sort of like in the the blue here and then green over the rest of it and then just to give it some um, some added texture I've got um, tissue paper so I've got blue tissue paper and sort of cut it in sort of a feather like sort of um, shapes and glued it on the front and then for the green I did the same but then I went over the top again um, and then, but only sort of glued the top down and did like a sort of a brick effect to make it look a little bit more like, you know, feathery bits. And then uh, I put, obviously I've got my uh, artificial sparkly peacock feathers and then also obviously bought some um, real peacock feathers and sort of glued them on as well. And then these i've used for the wings they're actually i got them at christmas from a, a local shop they're actually i think supposed to be leaves i think sort of flower arrangement sort of thing so with that i um i put a hole in the uh, paper mache and just poked the bit of the stem in and then i have got a piece of wire i don't know whether you can see yeah just quickly on one of them just held a bit of wire and then it does actually go over i think you can just see it on the other side to hold them up and then I've just sort of like glued a few more of the um, 
the bits of paper over the top just to hide the shiny wire but it just holds them in place so they don't sort of droop down and then on the top for the um sort of uh, the head piece i've just got some um pipe cleaners and then um just sort of twisted them around and just trimmed the bit at the bottom and then again just poked three holes in and just put them in there and i've painted the eyes on and then whether well, you saw it right at the beginning i mean you can sort of see the um the frame underneath i've put it on a cardboard board and then paper mache over it maybe try and look a bit more sort of uh, natural looking and then um yeah paper mache it and then painted it over the top and then those are just like um the pipe cleaners again just glued down and just put a layer of paper and glued it and then painted them so there's his feet so yeah there we go that is my uh peacock done at some point because i did enjoy doing this and i might have a go at doing one as a, a pheasant but uh but no that's gonna take pride of place downstairs somewhere so yeah really pleased with how that's turned out considering i didn't really have much of an idea what i was doing it was all trial and error but it's all come together nicely so there we go. Like, if you want to have a go yourself, there's I've got part one, part two, and this will be part three. So you can actually have a go if you like at doing it yourself. All right then. Okay. Bye.